Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is me, Keaton here. Welcome back to another video. And today is a pretty interesting subject. Uh, nearly a few days ago, I asked you guys, would you be interested in seeing a bully video on my channel? And the response was basically yes. Now, this isn't the said video that I was going to be working on. I'm still working on a big review of the series. But uh, for now, we are still doing something Bluey related. And uh, it's something that... uh. Uh, you know, Nostalgia Entertainment has been wanting to talk about for a while, ever since. We, we thought of this topic, uh, like, when I first really started talking to you during your vacation. Uh, we were talking about Bluey, and, like, because, so, uh, what, what vacation, and so I'm, I'm gonna let you just kind of speak what you, what you're thinking of right now. Yeah, um... So I was at Epcot a few days ago. I was there for like a few days. I was there during 4th of July time. Um, so I've been hearing some stuff that some insiders like um, Mr. Cheesy Pop, Theme Park Shark, JP Land 21 have been talking about a bluey attraction happening for Disney World. And when I saw that, I said, oh, do I it's actually going to happen. Um, so with D23 around the corner um, coming up in September and with Bob, Bob Iger coming back, I do think that Bob Iger is going to have a big blowout. And I've been seeing some other people talking about a, like a Mulan attraction happening and like a, a Mary Poppins attraction happening for Epcot. Um, so yeah, that's why we're here today, and we're going to talk about some concepts for a Bluey attraction at, uh, for Disney World, and I think, I do think it's happening because Bluey is very popular, and I do think it's going to go on for a while, so yeah, I feel like it's going to go at Epcot because um, the, the, the theme park is all about like education, and um, since Bluey is an educational show, it does make sense to put this type of attraction in that park and that theme park could get it, gain attendance and gain market share. Um, so uh, I do have a couple of concepts and then I'll ask you, Kian, uh, what you think. Um, so the first concept I have uh, for this Bluey attraction is that it goes... Um, in the Land Pavilion in Epcot, which the Land Pavilion in Epcot is a theme area in the park that has two attractions, which are Soarin' Around the World and the Living with the Land Boat Ride, which is a classic ride. Um, and I feel like this attraction could work there because the, the show does take place in the land, like in a neighborhood, so it does make sense, though. Um... So I do think this could be like a dark ride type of thing if this goes in the land pavilion and it does have enough space to go in there. Um, I it'll kind of be like um, those like Disney dark rides in Disneyland and then Disney World like the Mr. Toad ride and the Snow White ride, all that stuff. So I do think it's probably going to be like that, unless they want to replace Swan Around the World with bluey and they make it a screen ride like you wear 3d glasses and like I, I don't know how this is going to work if this actually is going to happen uh but what what do you think Ian? do you think this attraction will be good in the land pavilion as a replacement or do you think this will be like an expansion well i honestly you, you honestly kind of maybe think i'm gonna say some things real quick guys by the way I have never been to Disneyland or Epcot ever. I've never been to any of Disney World or Epcot before. I know. Crazy, right? Uh, but what I really think what they would do, I think that second option may be more likely to happen, like a 3D ride starring... Because the reason why that makes so much sense is to any fan who's seen the episodes, you know that both Bluey and Bingo like to play a lot. You know, they like to do things that are up in their head. They like to make up their imagination, do whatever they want, you know? And just the parents go along with it. I really think that the second option is more likely here if we're going at the style of the show. The first option may be cool, but I feel like the second option actually may be better if we went for a 3D ride of Louie instead. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So like if if they're going to replace Soren around the world in the Land Pavilion, like they will keep the screen. They will keep like the ride vehicles, but the only difference is they'll just have a bluey themed attraction and then they'll add 3D goggles because the Soren Around the World attraction, um, there's no 3D goggles. So I do think it's an easy fix to do and just like maybe like the story could be about there's like maybe like Bluey's in trouble and there's like an original villain in there okay. like you have to stop and all that so I do think that could be pretty cool no that's just Spongebob that's just the Spongebob for you right I would personally think uh, <laughs> what they could do here is this may be something weird but also very cool if they did it uh, make like a roller coaster themed episode around it where like they go to a theme park and then said theme park is actually uh, like c- kind of like Disney World, but not really. It's not called Disney World. And they ride a roller coaster there. And then they also do a lot of other different things. And that could be what they base the 3D ride off of. If there isn't already an episode of Bluey about the theme park, I haven't watched every episode like everyone else has. I have only watched a few. <laughs> I still need to watch a lot more of the series, but... Um, yeah yeah i really feel like it'd be a better yeah i do that. think yeah i i could see that happening no villain um, in Bluey so the last like concept i have for a bluey land is uh we we've been seeing some insiders been talking about this for a while um so a lot of insiders are talking about a world showcase expansion um in that area so they're talking about a brazil or in australia expansion um to go in world showcase and i feel like that the australia one is going to be more likely because of bluey so here so if this is going to be an expansion to world showcase um and it does have enough space for it and i bet it does um so they will add the australia pavilion in world showcase right they will have the, the Sydney Harbor. They will have the, the Opera House. So they, they would add that in. Like maybe the Opera House could be like a show or something. Like maybe watch people singing. But the main attraction in that area would be a Bluey attraction. Because since uh, the show is made by Australian developers, I do think um that this could work and also the characters speak australian accents so yeah um so i'm thinking that if they're gonna do an expansion they will add like bluey's house as like the ride so you walk inside the house like there'll be the line the queue and then there'll be like uh maybe like bluey's dad uh tells the guests like hey this is how the how the ride's gonna work or maybe maybe bingo or the mom or maybe just bluey himself (laughs) Um, <laughs> I can just imagine Bluey or Bingo I, I don't know. telling you. I can just imagine fucking Bluey or Bingo telling you how it's gonna work. Here's what I think they would do in proper Bluey fashion: is the dad would start telling you how the ride would work, but then Bluey or Bingo would interrupt him and be like, and just cause chaos while the camera would start following them, J- just like how it is in yeah. the show, just absolute chaos, and then just. They do something. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. So I feel like if they're if they're gonna do that, I think that's a good option. Like with the queue and like the theming inside the Bluey's house, like you, there's like a line to get to the ride. And the type of ride would this will be? It'll probably be like if they're gonna do this, that it will probably be like the same thing, probably. Um, but maybe they could like they could possibly make it like um the universal rides like spider-man and like kind of like harry potter and the forbidden journey or something like that but like i I don't know but i just think that that's a good idea to do but like i don't know you have that brazil idea and i've been hearing some people talking about a real attraction happening there so if if they're going to do that uh i do think that Australia is more likely because like it, it's popular with the show. So I don't know, Ken. What do you think? So which idea do you think it's more likely if there if this go, does get revealed at D twenty three? Do you think it's going to go in the Land Pavilion or do you think it's going to go in World Showcase? Probably uh, World Showcase. 
Yeah, I, yeah. I don't really. Uh, yeah, but I really think that it would start in Australian because you know it's an Australian show. It's done by Australian teams, done by Australian voice actors. I would do an Australian accent, but I don't want to fucking offend anyone, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Right, and I don't know, Ken, um, th this is a pretty good concept. It, it could just go in either one of them, because if, like, if Rio goes there, then it'll probably go in the land pavilion, I'm assuming, like, as, as a replacement of for Soren, or maybe the land boat ride. I, I have no idea. Um, but, I don't know, we'll see in September and see what they announce for Epcot, because I do have a good idea that they're probably going to announce some pretty big stuff, so we'll see. If there's any Bluey fans watching my channel, what do you think The Red could be about? Because, like I said, I don't really know much about the show, like, in terms of watching the episodes. I know, like, I know I know some of the episodes and that, but, like, to any, like, Bluey fans who actually watch my, my uh, YouTube channel, can you not, you freaking bike? It's a freaking bike outside causing stupid shit. Yeah, it's it's Bluey's dad driving on the bike. Yeah, that's 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 uh that's Ben. That's Ben. <laughs> all right, all right. Every time, every time, I always have to talk about Ben. But the, yeah, oh well, yeah, guys. Maybe one of the last videos we make is a fucking Ben video. That'd be really funny. But anyways, enough about talking about talking Ben. We have to talk about the blue version of him right now because that's not Ben. Uh, but yeah, to any fans who watch the show, uh, and watch my, uh, channel, what do you think would be a possible concept for an, an attraction of the show? Because, um, you know, like I, I, like I said, I've never gone to Epcot, never gone to Disney World, never gone to Disneyland. I have been to a Disney cruise, but that has been the only type of Disney stuff I've been on. So let me know what you guys would do for, uh, like a, an attraction, what concept would be if you want to do that. I personally understand if you don't feel like writing out your whole... There's got to be some Bluey fan out there who's had a whole fucking concept of an attraction, huh? Someone. Because I'm not the only one. Yeah, there's probably a few people, I feel like. Especially since a lot of people have already seen so much clips of the show because of TikTok and YouTube shorts, which is why Bluey blew up in the first place. Uh, but, it, yeah, I really think this would be a good thing if they did that. And... I really do think that uh, it could happen just very like late to so like 2024 or 2025. I feel like it could happen if Bluey is still popular. Well, usually then. rides stay like a couple years. So I do think if this does get announced in September, I do think that it'll probably be like a 2026 attraction. I also feel like Bluey may stop being popular during that time or might be even more popular. I don't know. It depends on how our future goes. <laughs> But yeah, well, it it really depends like how well the show is going because like now it's it's on its top game, but at the same time, probably when that attraction releases, it'll probably be around season six or seven, or how yeah, probably seven because I think season three is near its end. I don't know, but yeah, I really yeah, think we'll 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 find out though. We'll just see if people are still interested in Bluey around that time. Uh, who knows? Uh, if if past me is watching this three years later, let me know if if the if the attraction's a thing because if it is, uh, yes, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, you 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 bet you you bet I'm going to see that. Well, even though I'm not a big fan you're, of it, but I bet you see it. You're gonna see it, and you're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> Matt. Yeah. I had him do that last night. Anyway, back to tip. So, yeah, that's what I kind of wanted to talk about this app kind of attraction. And, yeah, let me know what you would want to see in that. And, like I said, a proper review of the show is still going to come out at some point later this month. Just talking about some of my favorite episodes of the series and the ones I have watched. Um, and I do plan on doing a lot more things with shows after Bluey. Because... With the support you guys gave me with the Sam Rio stuff, like with Super Cute Adventures and the Civil War movie both doing extremely well, it makes me feel like you guys would want more shows like that on my channel, considering that most of you guys voted yes on Bluey. So, I, who knows? Mm, it's it was a Madagascar. I don't know, maybe. Man, uh, I don't know if that really did. Fuck it is. Uh, maybe Sonic Prime. That could be a cool one we did. But, yeah. Oh, that would be cool. I'll love that. 
Yeah. So maybe, well, maybe we'll do Sonic Prime, but for now, we don't know yet. And we'll see you guys soon, whenever, probably Wave 5 when that comes out, if you're free that day. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, also, I figured I should say this now, because I, uh, because no one really watched the Wave 4 video, um, <laughs> for, because of the stuttery footage, I assume, right? Uh, I, uh, I do have a lot more things planned for this month. Like I said, I have a whole schedule. And tomorrow's video is going to be quite the banger. I have a pretty fun video planned in mind for tomorrow. It's very, it's one I've been wanting to make for a long time. <laughs> and one that, surprisingly, not much people have actually touched upon. So, yeah. See you guys till then, and uh, peace. What do you want to say to the viewers before I end this? Um... I'm just going to say, oh, yeah, make sure you check out my YouTube channel, Dolphin Productions. Make sure you like and subscribe on it because I'm going to give you some a lot of Tier 1 tech support because I'm better than those Twitter idiots in every way. And I'd also like to say, if you subscribe to my channel, uh, I got far more better content that doesn't keep hating on one single game. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm game. <laughs> Alright, uh, alright, see you guys later. We hope you enjoyed this video about Blue Talking then. Alright, peace.